Ya Oi. ahorita se está conectando el teacher. Ok. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hey, hi, guys. Well, sorry for the long delay. Um, my name is Alejandro Narbona, and on behalf of Invest Corporativo, I want to say thank you very much for being here, and thank you for waiting for me. Okay, don't worry, teacher. Yeah. All right, guys. Okay. So, let's get it started. I'm going to share what we're going to do today. Vamos a compartir lo que vamos a hacer hoy. All right. So, let's go ahead and read with me, please. Repeat. Lesson objective. Lesson, lesson objective. objective. Very good. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation. In this, this lesson, lesson participants, participants will listen to a conversation. To a conversation. Between two people. Between two, two people. People. Be Two people. Mm -hmm. Here the pronunciation will be people. Po. No vamos a pronunciar la O. Sería de la P a la O. People. People. Mm -hmm. Mucha people. gente dice con O. People. people. Sería people. Como playa. Repeat after me. Playa. 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 Uh. Mm -hmm. So people. 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 Good, good, good. Where yes, no questions and short answers. Where, where yes, no where questions, no questions and short answers. Answer. Answer. Uh, there's a mistake right here. Will be introduced. Will be, Will be uh, are introduced. Mm -hmm. Ese R is a mistake. No tendría que estar ahí. Will be introduced. Uh, Will be introduced. introduced. Mm -hmm. So okay. let's... Let's go ahead and read it completely. Vamos a leerlo completo. Wait for me so you can pay attention to the pauses. Okay? Esperen por mí para que le pongan atención a las pausas. In this mm -hmm. lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes, no questions and short answers will be introduced. Go. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes, no questions and short answers will be introduced. Yes, no questions and short answers will be introduced. Is introduced. Will be introduced. Will be introduced. Very good. So now... Um, let me see. I need a volunteer to read everything. Necesito un voluntario para que lean todo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Algún valiente? <laughs> Any volunteer? Yes. Okay, go ahead. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where just no question and short answer will be introduced. Good job. Thank you very much, sir. That was Lino, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Lino. So, okay. let's go ahead and continue here, guys. Conversation. How's it going? Say with me. How's it going? How's, How's it going? going? How's it going? Mm, give me a second, guys. Um, esto es lo que vimos ayer, ¿verdad? Yes. 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 Sorry. Acuérdense que vengo a la carrera por este... <laughs> Traffic. Yes, so, sir. let's go ahead and continue here. Give me a second. Okay. So, this is the one that we're going to be covering. Let's go ahead and, re and read again. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. By the end of this lesson. By the end of this, on this lesson. lesson Participants will be able to make yes-no questions. Participants, participants will be able, able to make, make yes-no yes, questions. questions. And give sure answers with B. And, and give sure answers, answers with B. B. Mm -hmm. Answers. La pronunciación de, de esto, guys, sería answers. Answers. Mm -hmm. And. Answers. Now, hay una diferencia. This is the sound name that's schwa. Okay, así se llama el sonido. No es una A, okay. No hay una una apertura total de mi boca. No es A, no es E. Sería como que A. Answer. Answer. Solo vamos a bajar un poquito nuestra mandíbula. Quiero que vean acá. A, 
A, esto está, no es para esto. E, a ver, uh -huh. todo total. Aquí vemos answer, answer, answer. Si ven, si ven, es como entre la A y la E. Answer. Answers. Answer. Very good. Answer. 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 So, we're going to watch this video. Vamos a ver este video, guys. Please mute your microphones. Answer. Pay attention to the video. Mute your microphones, please. Loading. Slowly. Ajá, esto se llama loading. Está cargando. Loading. By the end of this lesson, loading. participants will be able to make yes no questions and give short answers with B. Yes no questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Take a look at the questions in the chart again. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. See the structure of the questions. B plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Keep in mind the verb be will depend on the subject we're talking about. Also, when answering an affirmative, you have to always say, yes, he is, yes, we are, yes, you are. Your answer should not be just yes. You do the same with negative answers. When your answer is no, you have to answer by saying, no, he's not, or no, he isn't. No, they're not, or no, they aren't. All right, very good, guys. So here, what is the structure for yes, no questions? ¿Cuál es la estructura de las preguntas yes and no? Verb to be mm -hmm. plus project plus complement. Very good. So here, I wanted to please ask me a couple of questions, please. Are you come late? <laughs> ah, okay. Good, good, good. So in this one, llegaste tarde, that will be in past. Sería con did. Did okay. you come late? Did mm -hmm. you come late? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I did. <laughs> so, okay. with this one, guys, pretty much we're going to use the verb to be. What is the verb to be? Am. Are. Is. Am. Um, mm -hmm. Am. Um, is. Are. Um, Generalmente se dicen en ese orden. Am, um, is, are. No, no importa el orden que se dice, pero okay. así es como normalmente se dice. Am, um, is, are. Now, if you notice here, we start with the verb to be every single time. Siempre vamos con el verb to be. Por eso es que la pregunta, llegaste tarde, es buena pregunta, pero es otra estructura. That will be simple past. ¿Ok? Porque es en pasado. Acá estamos con preguntas de, um, how do you say, ¿estás disponible o estás libre? Are you free? Mm -hmm, exactly. ¿Es David de México? Is David from Mexico? Mm -hmm. David. Very good. ¿Es la clase de bed en la mañana? Is bed class in the morning? Ah, is bed's class in the morning. We are using these examples we have right here. Are you and bed from the same class? In the same class? ¿Están tú y bed en la misma clase? Are your classes interesting? ¿Son tus clases interesantes? So if you notice, guys, we are going to start every single time with the verb to be. Siempre vamos a, a empezar en este tipo de preguntas con el verbo to be, que sería el am, is, are, ser, estar, parecer. Okay? So, how do you say, estás cansado? Are you tired? Uh -huh. Tired. Tired. Repeat with me. Tired. 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 Very good. 
And what is the answer? How do you say C? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. En este no podemos decir solo no, guys. How do you say no? No, I am not. Uh -huh. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, how do you say, eres feliz? Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? Uh -huh. Are you happy? How do you say yes? Yes, I am. Yes, I am happy. Yes, I am. Aquí, yes, si, si se fijan, no lo estoy contrayendo porque no se puede. Yes, am. Eso no se puede. Acá sí okay. tiene que ser. Uh, yes, I am. ¿Y cómo le decimos no? No, no I'm, I'm not. not. Good. Aquí sí se puede contraer. You can contract it here. And there's no problem. Okay? Now, if you notice, guys, aquí empiezo con R y contesto con I. ¿Quién me puede decir por qué? Um, the second person. Uh -huh. Porque nos eh. están preguntando nosotros. ¿Estás cansado? <laughs> sí, yo <laughs> estoy cansado. Okay? okay? So, how do you ask... ¿Es Ernesto un buen estudiante? No, yo... Es yes, Ernesto... Yes, yes, no, Ajá, pero la pregunta, ¿es Ernesto? Ernesto, a good... A good student? student? Si se fijan, vamos again. To be... Is Ernesto subject, complement. Right? What is the answer, the positive answer? Yes, he is, or yes, no, he, he is, and the negative? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. He isn't. Very good. ¿Vamos entendiendo hasta el momento, guys? Yes. Yes, yes. Good, very good. Now, before we continue, ¿con qué sujetos ocupamos am? Only I. I. Exactly. No. ¿Con qué sujetos mm. ocupamos is? He, 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 he I, he, her. Uh -uh. He, she, it. It. He, uh -huh. she, it. Correct. Esto lo vamos a ocupar, por eso se los estoy poniendo. ¿Con qué sujetos ocupamos are? What subjects do we use with are? You, they, you, we, they. You, we, they. they. Uh -huh. Exactly. You, they. we, they. Generalmente mm. siempre van en ese orden. No, normal, como you, les we, menciono. They. No importa si dicen they, we, you. Pero por motivos de que todo el mundo se los aprende así, entonces ponemos he, she, it, you, we, they. Es el, es el orden recomendado. ¿Ok? So, guys, okay. what happens if I ask you with... How do you say... ¿Está casada? Are you married? Are you married? Are you married? Mm. Are, Aquí are tenemos... Good, good. Estás, is she, exactly. Estás casada is are you married? Okay. Está ella casada? Is, she is married. She is, is she married. married? Démosle vuelta. Is, is she, she married? Is she married? married? Married. So, how do you say está casada en pregunta? Are you married? Is she? Is she married? Is she married? Mm -hmm. Is she married? Mary. Pronounce it with me. Married. 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 Very good. What is the affirmative answer? Yes, yes she is. She is. Yes, yes, she is. And the negative she is. one? No, she is not. not. She's not. No, she isn't. Good. No, she, no, she isn't. isn't. She isn't. Good. So, si ustedes se fijan, guys, si nosotros ocupamos Ernesto, es lo mismo que digamos he. ¿Ok? Si nosotros ocupamos, si ocupáramos acá he, no habría problema. Acá, is she married? Es ella, ¿verdad? Aquí lo podemos suplantar, lo podemos reemplazar por el nombre de una persona del sexo femenino. Y no hay problema. ¿Ok? Very good. So, ¿qué pasa... ¿Qué pasa si tenemos, si la pregunta es con he? Contestamos con he. Mm. ¿Qué pasa si tenemos she? Contestamos she. con she. 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 Is. Very good, exactly. So, estamos en clases. 
Yes. Siempre pregunta. Yes. 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 Exactly. But what is the yes. question? Yes. We are uh, in class. Yeah. We are. Are we, we, are. Are we, are we in, class? in class? Are we oh. in class? Are we in class. Are we in class. Okay, very good. And then we have affirmative. Yes. Yes, we are in yes, class. We are. Yes. yes, we are. And the negative, no. We, we aren't. We aren't. Uh -huh. No, we aren't. Correct. Now, si se fijan, la pregunta es con we. Contestamos con we. 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 Okay. Um, están ellos. Quiero ver. Están ellos. Casados. Are they, are they married? Married. married. Are you married? married? And the answer is? Yes, they yes, are. They, yes, they no, are. No, they no, are. They aren't. Aren't. So, guys, no. creo que aquí ya vamos como que entendiendo la estructura. ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta de cómo es la estructura para pregunta? Okay. No, ¿Tienen no, alguna no. pregunta? No. Teacher. Ajá. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Eh, cuando, cuando puso el video, yo no escuché cómo dijo la negación o the answer, the short answer, en negative, en el, video, en el video. ¿En cuál de todas? O sea... No se, no se alcanzaba a escuchar. Por ejemplo, nosotros decimos, no, we aren't. Uh -huh. No, they aren't. Eso yo no, no lo escuché en el, en, el, en el video. O sea, casi no se escuchaba la negación que hacían quien estaba pronunciando ahí. No sé si, si, si solo yo lo noté. Mm, uh, to be honest with you, para ser eh, totalmente honesto, no me fijé. Okay. Uh -huh. But I can I can say it to you right now. The negative will be no, we aren't. Okay. Aren't. So no pronunciamos uh, tan fuerte la R. No decimos aren't, sino un poquito are, are, uh, aren't. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. So start. Try to give me examples, guys. Traten de darme ejemplos using are you. Are you are you hungry? There you go. Are you hungry? Tienes hambre? Yes, I am. Are, are you tired? Are you tired? Uh-huh. Uh, yes, I am. There you go. More questions. Give me more questions. Are you sick? Are you sick? Good job. Uh-huh. Uh, no, no, I'm not. Good, good, good. Ajá. Más preguntas, guys, porque vamos a empezar a practicar. Ahorita no necesito eh, your answers, just the questions. Ah, ok. Are we studying English? Good. En esta, are we study? No lo voy a meter present todavía. Continuous. Ajá, exactly. Because it will be okay. present continuous. Ok. Generalmente, en este con el verbo to be, guys, el complemento casi siempre es un adjetivo que nos describe, right? So, o acá que es complemento normal, estás en clase, pero no tiene que ser otro verbo porque si fuera otro verbo es otra estructura y sería presente continuo. Estás okay. estudiando, que ya es otra cosa. Mm -hmm. What else? Are you in class? Are you happy? Are you happy? Good. How Are is you happy? ¿Estás preocupado? Are you worried? Worry. There you go. Worried. 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 Good. Estoy escuchando que muchos se quedan en la I. Y esto sería los sonidos finales. Final sounds. Cuando yo les diga final sounds. Worry. Cuando yo worry. les diga final sounds. Es que tienen que poner un poquito más de énfasis en la pronunciación final. Uh, la mm -hmm. manera que podemos trabajar es. Primero escuchan. Me dejan repetir una o dos veces. Y luego yo les digo a ustedes. Go. Y ya, ya pueden hacerlo. Ok. So. Okay. Worried. 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 Acá. So. Worried. Worried. Good. 
Creo que por favor vean mi pantalla. Que me dice, ahí estoy. Vamos acá. Lo voy a hacer in, uh, mal. This is incorrect. Worry. Vean cómo quedó. Worry. Y mi lengua queda abajo. Eso está mal. Sería un sonido incompleto. Final sounds. Vamos acá. Say with me, David. Díganlo conmigo. David. 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 Y dejen la, dejen la D pegada, la lengua pegada, solo para que sepan dónde queda. David. 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 La lengua les queda David pegada atrás de los dientes o abajo, ¿verdad? Pero queda pegada. David. That is the sound that we're going to use David. to stop it. Worried. Okay? Worried. There you go. So, vamos acá. Incorrect. Here. Incorrect. Worry, queda abierta y la lengua abajo. Worry, eso está mal. Now the correct way, worried. 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 Uh -huh. worried. Y vamos a dejar la lengua pegada. Worried. 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 Ahí está. Worried. 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 Y siempre dejando la lengua pegada para que podamos worried. ocupar el final sound. All right. So let's go ahead and continue, guys. Um, se me hizo el chat. Where's the chat? Here it is. Now ask me some questions with is and he. Questions with is and he. Is he? Uh huh. Is he, is he in class? Is he in class? Very good. Correct. Now, what I wanted to do is to replace. We're going to remove he, and we are going to use other subjects. So, how do you say tu hermano? Your brother. Your brother. Uh -huh. Is your brother, uh -huh, in the complement? Is your brother in class? Okay, good. Is your brother in class? Is your brother a teacher? There you go. Is, cambiémosle a... Uh, tu papá, por ejemplo. Is your father a teacher? Here. Is, mm -hmm. is, is your, your father, father a teacher? Good. So, is, como pueden ver, estamos quitando el he y le metemos your brother. Ok. Is, díganme el nombre de una persona del sexo masculino súper famosa. Carlos. Ok. <laughs> y, uh, super famoso. Carlos, ¿qué? Carlos. Perla. Carlos. Príncipe Carlos. Carlos Calleja. Ok, es Prince Charles. Para que sea súper, súper picky. Es Prince Charles um, alive. Está el Príncipe Carlos vivo. Yes, he is. No. He yes. Is. Yes, he is. He is. Good. Is Mágico González a basketball player? Okay. No. No, he's not. No, he is no. not. Very good. So, como pueden ver, guys, estoy quitando el he y poniendo algo más en vez del de he. Okay? Pero no podemos decir he y poner she. All right, vamos con she. Is your mother, help me with the compliment. Uh, is, you, is your mother uh, doctor. a doctor? Doctor. A doctor. Good. Is, let me see, Blanca. How do you say, es Blanca una estudiante? Is uh, Blanca. Uh, uh, a... Student. Is Blanca a student? Yes, she is. Yes, she yes. is. Very good. How do you say, es Maria abogado? Is Maria a lawyer? Maria lawyer. No, no, she's not. She's... Uh -huh. Good. So, como pueden ver, guys, nuevamente estoy quitando el she y estoy metiendo el nombre. All right. Now. Are we in class? Estamos en clases. Okay. How do you yes, say? Yes. 
Y aquí, ¿cómo lo podríamos sustituir? ¿Cómo podríamos sustituir el we? They. Mm, ese sería el otro. Let me give mm. you an example. Are your are brother you, and are we, are we your... student? Yes, pero quiero que vean ahorita el reemplazo. That's a good question. Are we students? Ya la voy a poner también. Are we students? Very good question. Vaya, pero acá, como we es nosotros, ¿verdad? Um, quiero ver. Are. Bueno, dejémoslo con we para que no nos enchivolemos. Porque el we es bien específico para um, sustituirlo. Ok. Now, let's work with are they. Are they? Give me something, please. A compliment. Uh -huh. Are they in the supermarket? There you go. ¿Están ellos en el supermercado? Now, it's good to say, guys, these questions, are yes they or no. Party? Are they in the party? Good. Está bien. ¿Están mm -hmm. ellos en la fiesta? Now, como estamos ocupando are they, they guys, lo podemos, lo podemos cambiar por nombres, dos o más nombres. Tus padres. Are your parents? Mm -hmm. Are you boring? Mm -hmm. yes, I'm sorry? Are you boring in the stadium? Good, in the stadium that would be good. También podemos, ¿están tus padres en casa? Esto, your parents, estamos sustituyendo el they. ¿Ok? Porque yo no quiero que ustedes se queden nada más usando los, los pronombres. You, we, they. Quiero que entiendan para que les dé más fluidez. Que se puede cambiar. All right? Are your brother and sister. Esta es otra. Are your brother and sister... Um, Ajá, uh -huh. help me with the compliment. Are your brother and your sister? Aquí no se le pone el your, porque ya lo pusimos. Are your brother and sister? Are your brother, Are you brother the, and sister? Depressed? Are your brother and sister uh, ¿Están traveling deprimidos? in the kitchen? <laughs> There you go. Uh -huh. Si se pueden dar cuenta, guys, tenemos en lugares y también adjetivos. No podemos poner traveling. We cannot use traveling because that would be present continuous. Eso sería presente continuo. All right? So, go ahead and repeat the questions with me. And uh, please pay attention to the intonation. La entonación, guys, para preguntas de yes or no, va para arriba. So, repeat with me. Are you hungry? Are you, Are you hungry? hungry? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Y cuando terminemos, vamos a hacer eso. Las últimas vocales, vamos para arriba. Hungry. Hungry. Are you tired? Are you tired? Very good. Siempre con la D de David. Tired. Tired. Are you tired? Are you tired? Tired. Are you sick? Are, Are you sick? sick? sick. Are you sick? Are you sick? Are you sick? Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you worried? Are you worried? Are you worried? Is he in class? Is he in class? Is your brother in class? Is your brother in class? Is your father a teacher? Is your father a teacher? Good. Is Prince Charles alive? Is Prince Is Charles, Charles alive? alive? Is Mágico González a basketball player? Is Mágico González a basketball player? Is your mother a doctor? Is your mother a doctor? Is Blanca a student? Is Blanca a student? Is Maria a lawyer? Is, Is Maria, Maria a lawyer? Are we in class? 
Are we in class? Are we students? Are, are we students? students? Are they in the supermarket? Are, are they, they in the supermarket? supermarket? Are your parents at home? Are your parents at home? Are your brother and sister depressed? Are your brother and sister depressed? Brother and sister depressed? Good job, guys. Good job with intonation. Muy buen trabajo con la entonación. So, what we're going to do is the following. We're going to use this chat as a guide. Vamos a ocupar este chat como una guía. Okay? And uh, we're going to open up the break rooms. Vamos a practicar por los siguientes siete minutos haciéndose estas preguntas. Okay? Obviamente, ustedes las pueden cambiar. Y necesito que pongan atención. Si es con are you, contestamos I. Con he, contestamos con he. Uh, con we, con we, they, con they, sea negativo o afirmativo. Y luego de eso, quiero que digan, si está mal, quiero que digan por qué. For example, is Mágico González a basketball player? No, he isn't. Y ahí cumplimos con la respuesta. Luego vamos con una respuesta larga. He is a football player. ¿Me entienden? Yes. Si está mal, vamos a, siempre vamos a decir la respuesta corta. Y luego, la larga. Are they in the supermarket? Yes, they are. Y agreguen un comentario para fomentar hablar más. Yes, they are. They are at um, Super Tapa Chulteca right now. Right? Ahí los que se acuerdan de la tapa. So, vamos a agregar short answer y luego long answer. Okay? You ready, guys? Okay. Very good. Let's go ahead and practice. I'm going to open up the break room. Oops, give me a second. Here we are. Y practiquemos. There you go. Accept the invite, please. Please accept the invite. Acepten la invitación. Claudia ya lo aceptó. Good. Good, fantastic. We're just missing Carmina. Can you hear me, Carmina? Me escucha? Hello. All right. Si me puede escuchar, acepte por favor la invitación y cuando pueda se una al grupo para que practique. Eh, la, la respuesta corta y luego agregarle el, el porqué o, o algo largo, una larga. Mm -hmm, that's right. Short answer okay. and then long answer. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Uh, you. you are hungry? Um, yes, I am. Are you hungry? Acuérdense de darle vuelta el, el verbo to be al principio. Perdón. Are you happy? Yes, I am. Okay. Y aquí tú puedes, tú puedes decir algo más si gustas. I am happy because... Y okay. Que, uh -huh, para fomentar un poquito más la conversación. Okay. Hagan una y una. Ok. Te pre eh, pregunto, Claudia. Ok. Are you uh, hungry? Yes, I am. Uh, um, here, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Si no saben qué decir, está bien. Solo continuamos okay. con la otra. Porque aquí ya entran también otros tiempos gramaticales. Are you hungry? Yes, yes I am. Porque no he comido. Because I haven't eaten. O porque no comí. Because I didn't eat. So la respuesta pide otros, otros tiempos gramaticales. Continue. Let me check the other group. Van bien. Una pregunta, a short answer. Okay. Are you bus? Hello, Carmina. Can you hear me? ¿Todavía no me escucha, Carmina? 
Ok, bueno, si me puede escuchar, acuérdese de aceptar la invitación. Todavía tenemos tres minutos de práctica. Yes, I'm happy. Ok, también tiene que dar una respuesta larga. Really? Oh. <risa> um, uh, let me see. I... I'm happy uh, because I study English. There you go. Good answer. Mm -hmm. Continue. Okay. okay, ask me a question, Lisa. Uh, are you worried? I'm sorry? Are you worried? Mm -hmm. Just worried. Yes. Worried. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Good job. I'm, I'm worried uh, for 20 years. <laughs> he estado, ¿Cómo así? He estado preocupado por 20 años. Ah, I'm sorry. Es que le entendí que si era casado. No, worried. Worried, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. eh, preocupado. Are you worried? Ah, ok. No, I'm not. Ok. I'm happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ok. Eh, otra ronda. Another yes. round. As a matter of fact, guys, um, let's go back to the main room. Vamos a regresar al main room. All right? Yeah, ok. All right, so we're, we're getting everything, everybody back. All right, so guys, thank you very much for coming back. Now, first of all, I want to say thank you because you waited for me. Gracias por haber esperado por mí. Um, aunque hoy me fui en moto, <laughs> créame que ni aún así pude venir a tiempo. All right. Lo que normalmente me toma do, 10, 12 minutos, hoy me tomó muchísimo más. Okay, so I appreciate your commitment. Aprecio su um, su dedicación. Ok. Um, lástima que no pudimos practicar un poquito más esto, pero sí veo que lo han entendido. Veo que están ocupando bien las yes, no questions. Traten siempre de practicar en casa. Okay. Sean curiosos y traten de uh, buscar un poquito más de vocabulario. Ok. So, do you guys have any questions? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de la estructura o del tema en sí? Anybody? For the, for the moment, no. All right, very good. So remember to complete the platform. Remember to strive. Strive es como tratar de, de hacerlo mejor. Remember to strive for your learning process. Traten de hacer su proceso de aprendizaje súper bueno. No se queden nunca con preguntas. Y lo que vayamos viendo tienen que tratar de masterizarlo. De que lo entiendan y que lo puedan ocupar para que más adelante no tengamos eh, un aprendizaje como las calles, como algunas calles de nuestro país que tienen un montón de hoyos y no es placentero transitar por ahí. Ok. So, guys, okay. thank you very much. My name is Alejandro Narbona. Thank you on behalf of Inglés Corporativo and I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Traten sí. de conectarse porque las clases son de lunes a jueves, viernes, no hay clases. So, guys, okay. my pleasure. See you thank tomorrow. Thank you. You're see welcome. You. Bye bye. Bye bye.